How's it going everybody? Gmurf here. Welcome to the very first episode of Gmurf Reviews. Of course, I've had no doubt in my mind that I wanted my first review to be Dead by Daylight. In this video, I'm going to hit three different parts, and then I'm going to give the game an overall rating out of five stars. Uh, the first part is some background. Behavior Interactive, formerly known as Megatune Entertainment, started making video games around the early 2000s. Most of their games were honestly just shitty cartoon port over games to Game Boy Advance and Mobile. After changing hands a few times, Remy Racine, the original founder of MTE, bought the company back and renamed it Artificial Mind and Movement. Artificial Mind and Movement acquired Santiago based Wanico Games from Activision Blizzard. Shortly after this in 2010, they reverted their name back to Behavior Interactive. They felt it would create a more stable presence in the gaming community, and I don't think they wanted to be called the A2M Studio anymore. Dead by Daylight is a asymmetrical horror game where there's one killer versus four survivors. Survivors need to complete five generators to power exit gates before the killer finds them and murders them. It's a simple but effective concept. If I had to sum up how DBD plays, I'd say it plays pretty well. The game is creepy and chilling and exhilarating all at the same time. The first person camera view as killer makes you feel like you are the killer. You are the one slicing and dicing, you are the one putting survivors on hooks, and you are the one responsible for making survivors pay for their mistakes. As survivor, the third person camera adds a heightened level of awareness to your surroundings and the map which makes it all the more terrifying when the killer gets to jump on you. The game itself looks really good. Dead by Daylight runs on Unreal Engine 4. The dark stillness of every map feels inviting and unwelcoming at the same time. One of my favorite things about DBD is the sound design, from the eerie noises you hear around the maps to the very well done soundtrack composed of Mitchell F. April. The music just adds to this feeling of dread that sticks to you while you're playing. Learning to play Dead by Daylight is pretty straightforward. Behavior even added playable tutorials for new players, whether you want to play killer or survivor. The in-game ranking system helps keep new players away from more experienced players. Learning how to survive longer will depend on the decisions you make while you play. Running from the killer successfully will take some practice. On that note, catching survivors and getting them down while simultaneously keeping pressure on other survivors is no easy task. My thoughts on DBD are mixed at best. There are countless bugs and issues that the dev team have never really addressed, even though some problems and bugs have been around for years. The Dead by Daylight player community is very toxic to new players and to others even in the community itself. And sometimes it feels like the devs don't care, like at all. Creating a game where you can play either the role of the killer or survivor creates a divide in the community. I'm sure the devs intended this, or at least they expected it to happen during the game's creation. I think we did a pretty good job so far. 
but the two sides are constantly fighting about which side is weaker, which side needs to be nerfed, or which side interprets your inner personality. Like, a lot of killer mains think other players are pieces of shit if they're a survivor main, and vice versa. Some killers just disconnect from the lobby if they suspect a survive with friends group of survivors. Oh, that being said, I don't think I put as much time into a game as I have with Dead by Daylight. Though the game may be aggravating at times, surviving a smart killer or downing a survivor who knows what they're doing feels very rewarding. The maps are semi-randomized, so every encounter with a killer or survivor is different. Being the killer is, well, thrilling. Finding a survivor that's been hiding from you and getting them on the hook is satisfying in a way. Even though the game will never find true balance between killers and survivors, the devs try to keep it balanced as much as they can. They release patch after patch, they give us a roadmap of what they plan to do every year, release new cosmetics every couple of weeks, and between it all, they show that they care. It may not feel like it sometimes, but they wouldn't be putting this much work into it if they planned on letting Dead by Daylight die. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this, but I'm going to give Dead by Daylight 4 out of 5 stars. Alright, make sure you leave a like and a comment if you think I left anything out, or if you want to leave your own opinion. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, so you know when more shit comes out from me. Thanks for watching.